welcome back to another video hope you are having a great day and today with another awesome setup now i will leave links down below so that you can check out and see the components that we have right over here but we are going to focus on one main component which is this motherboard this is the new asus rock Strix z790e gaming wi-fi 2. so if you want to know all the details or almost all the details about it Let's go straight. For if you are assembling or you did assemble your computer and you still haven't activated Windows 10 or Windows 11, don't forget to check out KeysFan where you can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get a bit cheaper. So just in case, I will leave the link down below just next to all the components that we have right over here. Now, that being said, this motherboard supports CPUs from the 12th, 13th or 14th generation. And here on this particular setup, we are using one from the 14th generation, Intel i9 4900K, which is a big of a CPU and for the test that I've been doing at this moment of the recording is the most powerful CPU but before we take conclusions stay tuned to the channel if you still haven't subscribed and liked the video please do and really soon I will share a video just with the performance and power consumption which is capable of 6 gigahertz in turbo boost and if we overclock with the help of this motherboard it will probably get a bit more it supports 192 gigabytes of RAM, DDR5 up to 8000 megahertz. And in this setup, we are using only 32 gigs of Kickstarter Fury RAM at 7200 megahertz. In terms of storage, it has five slots for M.2 SSDs, four of which are very easily to detect now we just need to remove the heat sinks which will allow us to install the ssds in this particular setup we are using sabrent pci 4.0 ssds and these four slots support pci 4.0 speeds so we will be able to take maximum advantage we are talking about roughly 7000 megabytes per second i will leave some links right over here on the youtube card so that you can check it out However, it also has a fifth slot right over here on the top and it's a bit disguised and it looks awesome. And this one right over here is a PCI 5.0. So in the future, if we want to improve our already ultra fast speeds, we can. To connect the fans on our case, which in this particular case, I'm not using any, just the ones for the all-in-one cooler, there are five four pin connectors for automatic speed control and close to these you will find four rgb connectors that will allow us to connect rgb devices such as this cooler right over here or any other led strip and with that we will be able to change the colors now right over here i only have that component so in the armory crate software we only see one rgb addressed but if we connect others and for example, if you want to put a LED strip around your case or on your wall, you can and then control with the armor crate, which is awesome. So there are four of these connectors. It also has a on and off button, which might be very useful if we want to troubleshoot something with our own PC case. And just above, there's the key code that provides diagnostic codes, helping us to quickly identify and resolve issues with the system. Now, at the rear, there is a lot of connectivity, starting with the HDMI port, a display port, a CMOS clear button, a BIOS flash button, 11 USB, 10 gigabit port, one of which is USB type C and 10 USB type A. There's also one USB type C, 20 gigabit port and a 2.5 gigabit ethernet port. Two connectors for Wi-Fi 7 antenna, which no longer uses the old and classic SMA connector. Now it's just a plug and play connector, which is really fast to plug in and plug out. And then at the end, we have the audio 
connections. If we look at the BIOS, we will find the system configuration options as usual on Asus ROG motherboards, ranging from simple system information to more complex settings. And of course, there are also AI powered overclocking options that automatically optimize the machine by analyzing various factors requiring no manual intervention, which is just awesome. We just need to press a button and the system will check out all the components and will give us the best result possible having that in mind without risks whatsoever now if we look at windows the armory crate which provides us information about the asus components on our system but also some vital components like the cpu ram ssds and so on and so forth along with providing information it also allows us to adjust fan profiles for quieter or more aggressive cooling rgb control for the various components and much more now i haven't finished all my testings on the i9 14900k but i will finish them and i will share just a video about it it's having a great performance and some really interesting results in terms of power consumption but that will be on another video so stay tuned for those results hopefully you've enjoyed to know a little bit better about this motherboard the asus rock strix z790 e gaming wi-fi 2 if that was the case don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Huerto george and as always i'll see you on the next one